Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Spot Real Talk. My name is Tiara. I'm Tiffany. And I'm Ron. And today we are back to discuss another episode of Snowfall. This is season six, episode four, and it was titled Projects Boy. Before we get into the discussion, make sure you click that subscribe button as well as the like button. Show us some love and also the notification bell if you want to keep up with all of our content. So without further ado, we will go ahead and jump into this whole episode. Um, your boy Franklin is out here getting impatient with folks. I mean, he was really going off uh, early in this, well, pretty much the whole episode he was going off on folks. Franklin so, is, he is a, I mean, he's like a gunner. He's shooting everything in sight. I mean, it's just, he's angry. I mean, but then again, yeah. I guess I would be too. Yeah, somebody take my money. <laughs> right. And you know, the, um, you know, V and her mother went through a lot of trouble to try mm -hmm. to get the money uh, or at least to track down the money. Right. Um, and so they end up finding the guy that um, Teddy had worked with. I guess he was, you know, helping him open the accounts or whatnot. And they get his secretary or whatever to sneak some documents out. They photograph them and they're unable to actually yeah. track down the money because I guess, you know, Teddy is always a few steps ahead. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, Franklin was pissed off about that. Uh, almost burnt his bridge because they did have mm -hmm. a plan B, but mm -hmm. his mouth almost got him in trouble. Mm hmm. Yeah, he's um, a hothead. He's a hothead this season. I mean, but you know, I, I still love Franklin. I love, mm -hmm. I, I love the way he's, you know, he's handling things. I mean, yeah, he's a little, you know, maybe too the, too far to the left, but you know, he's got to calm down because he can make some mistakes that's gonna, you know, really hurt things. But hey, he's doing what he got to do. Seventy-three well, mil. Yeah, I think that's right. enough to make anybody unrivaled. Sure. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'd be cuckoo if somebody stole 73 me. Uh -uh. He said, mm -hmm. he was like, I was this close to having the life that yeah. I wanted, that I worked mm -hmm. for. Like, he was out the game. He was yeah. going to move everything. And then in just an instant, everything just blew up in his face. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And did you guys, um, I know V mentioned that her and her mom had a plan B and that it would involve them going out of the country. So, I wasn't sure like what that plan B might be because if they weren't able to track down the final location of the money, if Teddy had somehow withdrawn it, I'm like, well, what's plan B? <laughs> like, how, how is this going to work? It would have been nice to know what plan B was. And I hope plan B isn't the two of them saying, you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. Two Jeez. people been That's saying that online. Right. They were like, oh, I don't know if I trust them. They look too happy. <laughs> they look a little too comfortable, you know. Mm -hmm. And the way he was mm -hmm. mouthing off, she looked like she wasn't even phased. Like, you just don't know what I'm about to do. <laughs> That's why right. I, like, I don't know what plan B is, but it don't sound like it's in Franklin's favor. I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> But, you know, Franklin also had an issue because without the 73 million, the money that he's making in the streets really isn't enough to mm -hmm. uh, cover what he's trying to do. And so he goes and has a conversation with Kane about his guys, um, how slow they are with production. And Kane kind of like gives him, you know, his blessing to go and talk to the guys at the, the uh, cookhouse. But, you know, they weren't really feeling Franklin trying to come up in there and boss them around and whatnot. <laughs> So Franklin ended up burning the dude's face all up. And, you know, Franklin, you got to know that if you're going up in there trying to tell people how to run their ship, then they're not going to receive you well. But he's so impatient at this point that he don't really have no time for BS. <laughs> Look, Franklin did exactly what he had to do. And Kane already said what comes out of his mouth, is, is comes, it comes from me. So, you know, dude was, as you say, uh, Tiffany, way out of pocket. <laughs> uh, you know, um, you know, stepping to Franklin in the way he did. Yeah, he was in a two piece suit. Yeah, he was looking sharp. <laughs> but you know what? You, that, you don't mess with Franklin. Now, you said you knew Franklin. He said, you know, I think his name. What was his name? Uh, um, Todd. Uh, Todd. Mm -hmm. Todd mm -hmm. said, yeah, I know you, MF. So, yeah, you. I guess not. Because had right. you, you would have kept those lips shut. And now you got <laughs> half your face burnt off. <laughs> And you gotta walk around looking like a half uh half done uh uh a cheeseburger. So I don't know. But I know one thing, Franklin had to do what he had to do. He had to show those folk that I'm in I'm in charge. You do what I say, or it won't or it won't happen. But 
it kind of backfired though. Well, because like there. that's what we talk about with how you lead your camp. You know, we yes. talk about this with several shows, and some people like to lead with an iron fist, and it usually like blows back on them because people don't like to feel threatened like that. Well, and so I don't think that was the case though, because Todd stepped to Franklin, and you can't have that kind of dissension. Franklin came up in his spot though. That yeah, is his right. Spot. So that, so no, that... no, no, no. That's Kane's spot. And and Todd's working in Kane's spot, but he already told he, he already told right. the people that what comes out of his mouth mm -hmm. is coming out he of mine. He said mouth. that right. I I agree, and I understand that Franklin was trying to get things popping and everything because he said they've been moving slow. But he came in there, and then he was just like, "Yeah, we're gonna need two men working around the clock, twelve da, 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 and stuff." And it it was his approach. Yeah, that, and that's why it was you yeah, know you, you come into somebody yeah. if a new ball. <laughs> came into you, you know, good and well. If somebody came and, and you ain't used to work with them and they just came up in the camp talking about, oh, then we're going to do this, da 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 da, da and then mm -hmm. from now on, we're going to have, you're going to be like, who is this joker? Like, the it, average person would, would do that. It's a cook right. house. You can't walk up there and say, excuse me, uh, um, <clears throat> is anyone in charge here? Um, who should I speak to? No, you got to go in blasting, which is Listen, where it is. I'm not mad at Franklin, but I'm just saying, playing devil's advocate, the other person, right. it, you know, if you go into somebody's spot and you you have not been the boss and you just come on the scene talking about, chop, chop, you need to do this, you need to do that, blah, blah, and then you're going to be working two people around the clock, you're going to get pushed right. back. I think it's the optics of it too, because Kane is kind of like, he, he fits in with the crew, he's one of them, but Franklin bust up in there with a suit and tie on and it gives the appearance to like oh you think you better than us and it's kind of like oh, better than them, out, you know um uh, like, ranting about what's wrong do and well going off on people but, but then it's it. also it's it it definitely was the, the approach because sometimes it's not what you say but how you say it. But you I say didn't, it. I, I, okay i know we don't want to spend a lot of time in this and, and I, this is the last thing i'm gonna say about it but i just thought he went in give given orders yes he was frank but when your boss says he's the boss for the right for the moment, and that means really time wasn't that must not have been afraid of Kane uh, Kane too uh, too much because once your boss once you get the word that this man whatever he says goes, you should just keep your mouth shut. I think it's a respect thing. They probably respect Kane because he's from their hood, like that's their boy. But Franklin is just busting up there. They probably never seen him outside of, you know, hear, hearing his name through the streets or whatnot or seeing him passing by. But it's like, you know, you just don't bust up in here giving demands like that. But, you know, Franklin proved that he was, you know, willing to get down and dirty, too. That's he, yeah, he, he was cooking, cooking up. too. He That's was cooking. What, well, I that... was going to say this. Another example is just, um, you know, the other show we recap, BMF, Misha's approach. Mm -hmm. You see how Meech is able to gain people and stuff because he's like, look, we can all get this money. He's a lot smoother as mm -hmm. far as not using the, the iron fist. Right. You know, a lot of times the iron fist will, that's and you know, more bees with honey. Look, even Kane was talking trash about Franklin. Talking about he's our hoe and he makes, he, he makes me money. He's a hoe that makes money. And I'm like, I mean, he if right it though. wasn't for the fact that Franklin was a good money maker, People would not respect him and treat him as, you know, as a leader in the position he's in. King was right. So, he said, he said, Franklin's a hoe and hoe makes money. And mm -hmm. so as far as Kane is concerned, Franklin is on the street making money for him. Just like a But hoe. what did Todd go and do though? Well, he wasn't even happy well, with what but you Kane know what? said. But what did that do? That proved to Kane that all that, all that uh, smack you were talking about, and getting upset with Franklin because he beat up, beat up your boy, and you're saying that same boy goes in, and 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 you know shoots uh in, into your home, really, it inches probably from killing Franklin because they were all sitting at the uh at the couch at near the window, and now I, I just and they of course they cut it off at the wrong time because I really wanted to see what uh, uh Kane had to say after they had that narrow escape from all those bullets. Mm -hmm. And then when they saw Todd actually in there, and of course, Franklin put a bullet in his head. Now what? Now what are you saying? See, well, that, shows, saying that, that, that shows that shows disrespect. That shows disrespect, though. A man, no, look, 
Yeah, that's your boy. Look, I don't care how angry you are. God with, came look. and shot Kane's house. He Correct. didn't know Franklin was going to be there. But that's my point. You're going to shoot up he, your boss's house because you went right. to your boss. You went, you went to your boss wanting to uh, take care of Franklin because of what he had done to you. And he mm-hmm. already explained to you a second time now who Franklin is to him. And then you leave. Because what did he say? If you don't agree... I can put you in the corner or something to that effect. Yeah, but mm-hmm. he, but he was threatening him. He was but, it was a threat. That's, that's but, what but made Tiffany, him. That's my too. point though. If you're, I mean, in in that world, your boss may threaten you a dozen times a day if you're not doing the job you're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. But you don't retaliate by going okay. and yeah, shooting I, I up his we house. Were, uh, you don't do that. We, we are agreeing. I think we're on the same page. I just didn't understand what you were saying at first, but yeah, we are on the same page. He got what he had. Yeah, he got what exactly. Yeah. 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 But that's my point. I'm saying Todd was Todd was way off. He was left field from the get. Okay. Yeah. I understand the disrespect. Yeah. I got that. And then I understand you want to go to your boss and, and see if you can do something about Franklin. I got that. But then you're going to turn around and say, well, I'm going to take the matter in my own hands. No, you got right. to what you're and now, to and, You know, I was going to say not only that, but Louis and Jerome now know where Kane is staying. So he has to pick up and move somewhere else altogether. So yeah. that's just another issue that he's introduced. So that was like unexpected consequences of how you administer discipline to your crew. You know, mm-hmm. you don't want stuff to backfire on you and to create more issues. And I think that's what Kane and Franklin were initially arguing about at the table before the shootout ensued anyways. They're mm-hmm. talking about like discipline and how it's handed out. <laughs> well, Franklin but, blew up at Kane. I mean, like, that's my Franklin money and blah, 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 blah. And Kane and just, I mean, Kane just, you know, he retaliated. You know, it, it was just a back and forth with them and may have gone to blows if, if Kane had not been injured. But, um, mm-hmm. you know, I, it, it was just funny that uh, Todd would show up in the manner in which he did at the time he did and just try to blow him all away. Now, like you said, he may not have known that Franklin was there. So in his mind, had that had he succeeded, he would have had two birds with one stone. Exactly. You know, didn't work that way. I wonder if Kane feels any different about Franklin now that he's kind of helped him escape with his life. I'm you sure know, he I, does. Mm-hmm. I'm sure he does. Cause that and and I again that's what I was saying. What Franklin proved to him is your boys aren't you're not as tight with your boys as you thought you were because mm-hmm. your yeah. boys came in and ransacked your place with a bunch of bullets oh what a tangle web we weave yeah. well, we practice not to believe what <laughs> franklin can do to you well he also proved to him because at first you know uh k was was stunting on him flexing on him talking about oh you the ceo of roc <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, and and basically you know, um, roasting him for being suited and booted and stuff. Mm-hmm. However, Franklin showed that he could get down. He get the street. He went. He went. He cooked yeah. up the stuff. And when it came down to the shootout, mm-hmm. he held his own. Exactly. So, now that's a soldier. Yeah. Right. So he's showing that he's not a punk. Exactly. Well, somebody else showed they wasn't a punk this episode, and that's Leon. <laughs> we, we knew that was coming, y'all. We knew it was coming. Yeah. Now, we've seen it in the previous kind of, you know, Tiffany, you mentioned that he and Big D were tussling, but mm-hmm. we weren't sure why. And uh-huh. we kind of were wondering what was going to lead up to that big fight between them. And so now we kind of see that Big D has kind of like been wreaking havoc in the neighborhood. He's a shot out the street, right? So the kids can't even play the playground. Um, and you know, he's just being like, he's another person that's kind of ruling with an iron fist, you know, doing what he wants, what he say goes. And Leon is kind of like trying to improve the neighborhood. You know, he and Wanda, Wanda feared, you know, she had that talk with Sissy where she said she feared she might yeah. relapse. Yeah. And I was like, I really hope not, but she's going to try to stay busy with the shelter. But both she and Leon are trying to encourage people in the uh, community. Right. You know, mm-hmm. Leon was trying to talk to Einstein, tell him to you know, pursue college and whatnot mm-hmm. and encouraging him. And Big D is doing the exact opposite. The exact opposite. <laughs> I was but like, I, Big D got to go. He definitely gets the hands. Well, no, he, he got the hands. Well, he got the hands. In the hands. Wait a minute. Right. And, and a bottle upside down. <laughs> right. so. It reminds me in a fight with Debo and Craig and Friday. Uh, right. Yes. <laughs> I said the same exact thing. 
you know, you Wanda know. cheering him on the sideline. Yeah, yeah. Get, get up, baby, get up. But you know, I, I'm glad though. I'm glad to see Leon have that conversation with Wanda um, because really what he did was uh, affirm what Wanda was saying all along. You know, this, we came back to nothing. And it, mm -hmm. it took, you know, it took this for you to see that we came back to nothing. And, you know, so, and I'm glad that he stepped to uh, Big D because Big D was just hammering him all the whole time. Is that your wife? You know, Craig oh, yeah. or whatever. Community yeah. Pete, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. Know, ain't but so much a brother's going to take. Okay. Exactly. Ain't but right. so much. And you just, you lit the fuse and it got yeah. too short. There you mm -hmm. go. If this ain't enough too. to make them leave and go back to Ghana, I don't know what it is. ASAP. They need to bust the UE right now <laughs> and head on back to LAX. I'm I telling you. He he probably would have been better off killing Big D right at at that point, and mm -hmm. and and reestablish himself. That's what I'm uh, worried about. Yeah, because yeah. I'm Cause thinking Big that's D got beat happened. down in front of the whole neighborhood. The whole crew. That's gonna bruise his ego. Yeah, so I absolutely. feel like he's gonna come back on some petty, like get back type stuff. And I'm I worried so for Leon and Wanda. Exactly. I am too. And if he doesn't get Leon, he'll definitely uh, tap on Wanda. And yes. you know how, and you know how he'll do that. You mm hmm. Know? So yeah. yeah, it's just sad, but um, yeah, you know what, y'all? I think we were talking last week about Wanda might be the one to go. Yeah, um, I, I'm I'm hoping not, but I feel like either both of them or one of them is not making it out of this season. Yeah, yeah it's it's kind of you can see it written all over the episodes, all these little things that keep happening. Um, it, it's just kind of like you can see it; it's coming. And I'm I don't know which one. I'm really rooting for both of them, but I know mm -hmm. it's not gonna happen. So right. what about Gustavo? Because he's between a rock and a hard place. He's another one that ain't probably ain't making it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's, I told you, Teddy is always on the stuff. Like just the way he was watching Oso mm -hmm. when he was leaving him, I said, "Oh my gosh!" I said, "Teddy yep. knows. Teddy is suspicious. He's always it, on it." Yes, he's and he. On following um Ruben now he's got photographs of him so I'm like you know this is no good this whole plan because Ruben actually revealed himself to Gustavo this mm -hmm. episode mm -hmm. and I was like you know that was a bold move but that time is not on their side because they really are like kind of wanting to raid Teddy's warehouse mm -hmm. you know at a specific point in time it's trying to line it all up so that his boss is there and everybody's there when they go mm -hmm. in the drugs the money everything but, and you know he said that um Ruben said that he had a common um goal as the DEA and they were trying to prove that Teddy and the CIA were trafficking drugs into the US and so Gustavo I don't know how he's going to deal with it he's already in bed with the DEA obviously but I don't know how much he's going to trust Ruben um well, going forward yeah. but I don't know if desperation might not force him to have but to work with him. Never mind Ruben. What did what did Teddy tell him before he left? Uh, before he left Teddy. He said, if someone steps to you, get out. Know. Let yeah, me he... know. Get out. And now mm -hmm. Teddy saw Ruben mm -hmm. leaving the facility. Yeah. <laughs> That's the part. So if he yeah. doesn't let Teddy know, Teddy's gonna know that. Oh, so it's compromised. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. Yes, yeah, it's, it's very tricky. Um, and you know, Teddy even is worried for himself. You know, he was talking to Parissa about you know if he had to make his escape, would she join him? And you know, at first he was inviting her to come stay at his house. To which she's like, "Why would I do that? I mean, you already got the target on your back." So and I almost got that. snatched up. <laughs> right. Oh, right. But one, you. one other thing though about uh, Teddy and uh, and uh, Gustavo. Now Gustavo knows that Teddy is not in the uh, CIA. CIA, yes. yes. And, and so mm -hmm. now that's going to piss him off. Oh, yeah. So this is going to be a hell of a standoff. Yeah, because uh, he doesn't because... even have any protection. Like, Teddy's been promising all of this right. stuff, but exactly. you don't have any anybody to back you. So what yeah. you, who, who's protecting yeah. us? Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's assuming that he's going to have the CIA backing because they took um, Franklin's money, the $73 mm -hmm. million, you know, the the government is happy to take them funds. Right. So he thinks he's going to be able to buy his way back into the CIA. Well, look, Parissa kind of told him, you know, it ain't a bad idea to go hop off to some island with that 70 million and live a good life. 
Right. I mean, she wasn't wrong when she said it. So I was like, I think Teddy considered it, but he's such a bootlicker. He really wants the approval of the CIA. He really does he really hold the purse to that money though, because like you just said, we knew Teddy had to be the middleman or the hand um, when it came down to where that money is. But did he actually give it to the CIA? I don't think so. I think no, he not had yet. it. So he, not he yet. got the key to wherever it's at. Yeah, I think it's in yeah. his control wherever I think it is too. Because I, I, I don't understand, Teddy. If at back in those days, you got seventy three million dollars. He believes in a mission. That's why he oh, remember mission, even my... even his wife tried to tell him like, let's walk away. You got kid. We can do this and mm -hmm. stop. And he was so focused on the the mission. Yeah, okay. you know, mission, commission, mission. It's commission. not. I, I Give think me the he, commission. He $73 million dollars He considers commission. himself to be a patriot. And and that you patronize mission, yourself someplace else. I'm so oh, I'm I, with you. But I, mean, I but I, I think the way Teddy thinks, like I, I think he let me not say that's crazy. No, no, because <laughs> that's you know that's crazy. I mean yeah. you you walking out of 73 million. I mean, any day you can get killed. Any day. Mm -hmm. Every day you wake up, it's a blessing. I mean, for most of us, but you, you had a high risk blessing. And you mean to tell me you got $73 million at your grasp? Man, I, I would be so incognito. It would be like the day I was never born. Yeah. I, like you said, I don't think the money does it for him, though. He it's not it the money. It's the, it's the mission. It's the yep. mission. I, I could have seen him being at the Capitol. <laughs> That's how I'll say that. <laughs> Oh what? Yeah, right. you said <laughs> yeah, but I I think Teddy is that's Teddy's mission. Mm hmm. And you know it, it's it's interesting because like all of them have something to lose. I think Teddy has formed a real bond with Parissa, so she could mm -hmm. become collateral damage. Also has mm -hmm. you know the young lady that he's staying with and her kids, so it's like they could right. be collateral damage. And then. Ruben, we realized that he actually has a man. So, a man you know, who knows? Teddy could mm -hmm. try to sneak up on Ruben and catch his man at home alone. And that's the wrap. Yeah, so it's I like they all have something to lose here. And they're all kind of like under the gun. Because, you know, Ruben said that they planned on raiding Teddy's warehouse the next day. So there's literally... That's why I'm scared for around. everybody, especially Oso. Because I was like, oh, yeah. this is going down tomorrow night. Uh-oh, Oso. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. He's got a lot yeah. to think about for sure. Yeah, and I think Teddy gonna try to set him up. And I wouldn't trust Ruben as far as I, I could go. I, I mean, you know, he he offered him money. How much money? You know, it wouldn't be the seven point five million or three million. I think it was that um, Teddy was offering because uh, Teddy offered him, I think, a seven point five or something to that effect. I forget the amount mm -hmm. exactly, but. You know, I certainly wouldn't be that much. And so I can see Gustavo staying for that, you know. But the question is, do you trust Teddy? Do you really believe mm -hmm. he's going to Now that you know that now that, Teddy yeah, exactly. lying to you all the time about being in the CIA. Yeah. Like, everybody lying. I think everybody. the only one who was trustworthy is, is Franklin. Like, Franklin is the mm -hmm. only one, Um, you know, at least to an extent. Franklin came back and rescued him last season and stuff. Yeah. yeah. So, uh. I but not know. now, though. I mean, Franklin's after his behind, too. So, you know, you know Franklin, I mean, no, he's not after Gustavo. No, 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 I mean. no, no. But I, I think he's 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 a little um, he's beginning to get a little uh, suspicious, I think, of uh, Gustavo, you know, which is why he asked him. He said, look, you know, I can help you if you help me. But first, you got to do mm -hmm. this, yep. uh, mm -hmm. you know. And so I, I, I think. It may be just because Franklin is on a short fuse with everybody. You know, everybody. That could be. Is it. there yeah. any chance that Franklin somehow ends up at that warehouse too? Like, does Gustavo call him in for backup or something like that? Huh. Uh, good point. Well, uh, he did ask him to give him Teddy. He said, mm -hmm. you know, well, yeah, first he, he said, I'll tell you who Ruben is if you get me Teddy. But now Ruben had already I approached say, also, right. so he don't even he doesn't need, need Teddy. Right, he right. doesn't need Franklin anymore. Which is interesting. Right. I mean, wow, it's it that's just when we talk about entanglements, he's really <laughs> But I wonder if Ruben might not because I mean Franklin is making deals with Ruben and with Oso. So I wonder if maybe, 
you know, Ruben doesn't try to pull Franklin in it too, because I feel like that's going to be the real like storm right there. And I feel like something's going to go wrong. They're going to be calling folks in, trying to get back up. I, Teddy did this. Da, 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 I need your help. Can you come right now? But well, Franklin you know doesn't even have the manpower to help anybody. So he you, wouldn't really be you, of any you, service. You want to know how to stop Ruben in his tracks? Because back then, you know, it was a don't ask, don't tell. Oh, you got a man friend? Oh, let me find out you got a man friend and mm. let the, uh, you know, let the bureau know that you got a man friend, you know, take a few pictures. That blackmail. Yeah. Cause it wasn't time. as accepted, you know, works like it is every today. Time. It works every time. So that might, I mean, that's a, a plot twist there. It could, I mean, they didn't put it in there for no reason. I'm assuming. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. So you might be on to something there, Ron. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it made me think of Ozark. Oh, because I remember yeah. the very yeah, first yeah, yeah. season that agent, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen next week. Um, everything is really starting to heat up, and you can tell that, that I think next week is going to be a big episode. It's mm -hmm. episode five, mm -hmm. <laughs> first of all, mm -hmm. mid season. And, you know, it's also this big raid of Teddy's warehouse supposed to be going down. So I think that's where everything's going to come to a head. And I think. You know, some bodies might drop for sure. And you know what? That's probably where the money is. Mm, mm. I don't know. Because don't he know. has the drugs so. there. You ain't supposed to yeah, be Yeah, I don't drugs. think it's well, in one spot. Not, not the way I, Teddy rolls. I don't know. Um, that, um, I just don't know. When they showed the previews for next week, um, Franklin was calling Teddy and was like, I, I think he had his Teddy's dad's house. He's burning yeah. Teddy's dad's Teddy's house. Dad's and he was like, you better give me that money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <Yep. laughs> and and Teddy was like, "You don't want to do this." Mm -hmm. So I was like, "Lord," I said, "If he does that, it's gonna be tit for tat." And that's yeah. the thing. Franklin has to worry too because V is pregnant. Like mm -hmm. he has people that that he has something to lose too. His mama, exactly. yeah, V, and you know Louis and Jerome, they beefing with them. But you know, he he got things to lose. Absolutely. Yeah, well, yeah. let's just hope V and her mama is out of town uh, because um, if he doesn't get to Teddy first, it, it can be a, mm -hmm. a bloodbath. You know? Yeah, it really could. Yeah. And he messed with his dad or his, his family. Yeah. yeah. That's going to, you know, agitate the situation even oh, more. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. It's getting crazy out here. I hope Leon and Wanda are on the next flight back to Ghana next week. We'll see about mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I uh, really enjoyed this one. Tiff, you got something to add? Yeah, I was saying, you know, when we were talking about Todd and um, and them coming for uh, Kane and them at the house, I was like, now, didn't y'all think that Louis, it was Louis and Jerome and them with Todd that you gotta know that they ain't gonna be the ones to get their hands dirty. Exactly, right. but I think they, all the heat they he came got. and told them that I was the one that shot up the club, mm -hmm. right. and then saw the look on Louis and Jerome's face. And yeah. I think, I think they put the battery in their back and and mm -hmm. maybe paid them or whatever to do that. I, I I do think, you know, Todd may have led the charge, but I think that Louis and Jerome were behind it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's like at this point, it's like let's get Kane before he gets us. <laughs> exactly, because Kane is still like hot on their tracks as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it, it really doesn't make the situation any better now that Kane has survived and mm -hmm. he really can come back after them. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it, it's a mess. It's a whole mess all the way around. I see a lot of bloodshed on the horizon, mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, and hey. I think you know. This episode five might be where we lose our first big main character. Well, let's mm. give it let's give it up for some miracles because Kane didn't believe any, but not only can he walk, he can look like he can run a little bit too. So <laughs> yeah, <you know>. right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. listen, when your life is everybody, on the line, you can do hey. crazy Yeah, things. I was say everybody knows how to get low when it's time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Everybody knows. And low running stuff. works every time. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> Well, I really enjoyed this episode. Um, do we have anybody else you want to add to the get the hands list or give the game ball to? Game ball. Oh, oh shoot. Because mm -hmm. I don't know. I think everybody kind of is on the hands list. I'm blaming yeah. Franklin for going off on folks. 
Yep. Um, I think Kane definitely is kind of disloyal to Franklin. I don't like the way he be talking behind his back. Mm-hmm. Get the hands. Big D already got the hands. The hands yeah. Todd yeah. got dealt with. He's about to be five or six feet under. <laughs> uh, Game balls, um, Leon and um and Wanda Leon were trying Wanda. to like educate um Einstein and yeah. the community and stuff and everything. Okay. Um, they're on I, a positive track. I'll yeah. give Einstein. Stuff. So I so I'll they definitely Einstein deserve game ball. ball. Uh huh. I'll give um Einstein the game ball. Mm-hmm. The fact that he's trying to go to school. I'm trying like, to go to school, yeah. trying to do the right thing. And you know, I'm not mad at that. Yeah, okay. he's just, you know, just surrounded by a bunch of knuckleheads. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you do become a product of your surroundings. So well, we say, you know, you're fr- you one of two things are gonna happen. You're either gonna model your friends or your friends are gonna model you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you gotta yeah. be careful about the people you hang around. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Well, uh, I think that does it. So uh, on that note, I want all of the viewers to please drop down in the comment section and give us your thoughts on this episode as well as your predictions for the season. Um, We want to thank you so much for watching and continuing to support our channel. Please make sure you click that subscribe button, the like button, and the notification bell. Uh, We also have a series of great content in our interview tab. So if you scroll through the playlist, we have so many great interviews and more to come. (laughs) So Mm -hmm. check that out. Uh, Tiff and Ron, you got anything you want to add before we close out? I just want to say that I am so sorry I missed the interview with uh, Mikkel, uh, Brianna White. Uh, Fantastic woman. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fine too, okay, mm-hmm. and you know, yes, I'm just sad that I missed that. But. <laughs> that was coming about. soon. Yep, uh-huh. yep, that's coming soon. So make yes, sure you're on indeed. the lookout. Click that notification bell so you get alerted as soon as our interview with McCall Brianna White posts. Uh, she plays Big Meech's mom, Lucille, on the BMF series. So yeah. definitely look out for that one. And uh, while you're at it, make sure you follow us on all social media platforms at the Spot Real Talk. Um, be sure to keep up with all we have going on there as well. And I think on that note, we will call it a night. So thanks again. Uh, and we'll be back next week to recap episode five of Snowfall. Night. This is not to one, not to one. You think that I'm running in place? Y'all really testing my patience. Right before I blow up the spot, I had to get back to the basics. What if my talent is wasted? It's sick, but I'm lacking the placement. Thoughts as I rap in the basement, but my come up is legend, is greatness. I don't care now, it's pedal to the metal. I can never quit now, I will never settle. Pop it to the game, I'm pulling strings like Geppetto. We in the same game, but I'm on a different level. I passed it. Gotta keep grinding till I'm laid up in the casket.